Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we are getting ready to head to the movies, have a little date for myself. I want to go see Equalizer, so this is going to be like a get ready with me for my solo date. I guess it's a solo date. I'm just going to just chit chat with you guys. Um, I do have a vlog coming out this week, and I'm trying to decide if I really want to share it because there's so many different pieces. I did go to the Pilates class, which was really fun. I have taken Pilates many, many years ago, and my mirror is here, so I'm looking here. So I've taken Pilates. I've tried Pilates many, many years ago, not at a studio, but um, I used to do Windsor Pilates at home. And what I can say about Windsor Pilates is that it works. I was doing the buns and thighs, which is like 20 minutes, the leg scope thing. There was like another 20 minute one in there that was like mixed with the two of them. So I did that for like three months straight. To be quite honest, my body was like on point. It was, I'm not gonna say, cause I've never been the biggest girl, but it was very sculpted and nice. Like not muscle as far as like weights and stuff but a nice shape i did it for like three six months three months but three times two to three times a week that's all i needed so for this class it was with the machines i've never used the machines before it still kind of felt exactly the same uh just with a little bit more resistance because of the bands and then the machines that they use they do have a package where you could get unlimited sessions for $2.19 a month. And then they also have, ooh, this look crazy. <laughs> they also have $179 for eight sessions a month. And she said that it was a three month commitment. And I, the, some of the girls are like, uh, but here's why I think it's good. When I did the Pilates on my own without any machines, I did it for three months at minimum. I'm gonna, it's two to three times a week, but I know at minimum I was doing three because I was so excited to try it out. When she said three months, I said, oh, that's the perfect amount of time. If someone goes at minimum twice, they are going to see a difference in their body. Uh, and I think that's a, a really good way to start. Some people may not be able to, defo to afford that monthly. If you can't, child, go on YouTube and try to search the Windsor Pilates one. You don't need any equipment. She does have some with bands, but if you find like her first videos, you will be fine. The, the new places do have, like I said, equipment and stuff, but child, I just know that I need to be around people <laughs> right now. Back in the day, I was fine with working out on my own at home, but now I'm just kind of like a little, I get a little bored. Um, I get a little bored. I need to have like a class or something. Um, getting up and going, you know, to get my workout on. It's not very, like you're not gonna like sweat and stuff. So for those of you ladies who have like injuries and stuff, you should always go speak to your doctor because it is kind of strenuous on your body. If you have knee issues, any back issues, um, it's not going to be like weights and stuff, but you still always want to check to make sure that you won't injure yourself even more. They pretty much just went through everything to show us how to use the machines, right? So I guess maybe I'll pop that in this video. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll pop the beginning part in and just do this like a vlog style. But as of now, we're just going to chit chat. It's at 179 for eight classes then there is 219 for unlimited classes it is expensive for some who live check to check someone who has children someone who just can't afford to just dish out an extra 200 or 179 like i said check youtube <laughs> and put it in like a list so you can actually use that as your workout if you are still okay with working out at home by yourself. If you struggle with that, maybe possibly get like a partner and you guys can do it together. That may actually work really well. 
because you're not doing it by yourself. All right. But I, I would recommend Pilates, especially for people with injuries, any older people who may struggle with certain things. If you're not into like hit exercises, because you guys know hit is like, it's so hard. I did it for many years. Uh oh. I did it for many years, but now let me not, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I did it for s maybe six months in total. The trainer that I had, he was really good. He got me all the way together, but as time went on, it's just it's too much jumping and stuff for my knees. Um, the squatting and stuff is a bit too much, and I just don't want to injure myself at my big age. Okay. I think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to do it for the three months and just go super hard. Go as many times as I can. It's not that far from me. So that was perfect. The studio is not that big, but I definitely felt comfortable. Even with like COVID is running loose. Um, it looks like they get a pretty good crowd of girls that come in. Because when we got there, there was already a class in there, like an actual class. That class was actually really full. Come to think about it. Uh, but yeah, Pilates. So on top of that, we're eating healthy and possibly still walking in the park and stuff. Um, that's going to help me just kind of get some movement going on this part of town. Because your girl, your girl be lazy over here some days, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to go see Equalizer. My sister said it was good, so I'm going to go check it out. For myself, I haven't been to the movies in a while. I don't know if I told you guys, there is a tall girl event going on in Dallas, Texas. I don't even know why I just did that just now. In Dallas, Texas, I'm gonna go. And I wanna start just connecting with other women. Not necessarily tall, but women who do content with fashion. If you are tall, it'll be a plus. Um. You know, just start connecting with those women on YouTube. Build like a little community. If you are in Atlanta, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter where you are because this event is in, in Dallas and I'm excited to go to it. I don't know who's going. I don't know how big it's going to be, but I'm sure going to go and have a good time. It'll be my first event with like other women on social media. So, I'm hoping that it turns out really, really nice. The girl seems really nice who's, whose event it is. From the pictures that I saw from the year before, it looked really fun. So, maybe I can connect with some girlies. And maybe we can make some noise to these brands to start catering to us, okay? But yeah, connecting with the girls on, on social media. There's a lot of girls in Atlanta who do content, it's kind of like, I don't know where they are. Like I see them on social media and stuff. And maybe, maybe I could reach out and be like, you know, let's collab or something like that. Um, I'm really big on energy. So if someone kind of brushes me off, I won't ask again. Uh, but I am interested in like, you know, just hanging out with some of the girlies and just, you know, building a new little crew of girls at least to just do something it's not necessarily hang out all the time but just you know have some little fun with some of them that live here or even in other states like you know booking trips and stuff now i do know that traveling with people can either go good or bad so <laughs> yeah <laughs> But, um, yeah, I want to connect with some of the girls. And, and the thing is, like, I don't really know how to go about that part, but I'm just going to figure out a way. Because here's the thing about content. You can do it by yourself, but sometimes you just need that group of people that's doing the same thing as you. Because if you talk to friends and stuff who don't have anything to do with social media, they're looking at you with 10 heads. They'd be like, why are you doing that? That's so stupid. Blah, 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 blah. So it's good to have like a little crew of girls or even guys, like guys who are into fashion, um, who are here, 
you know, who's about social media, trying to build like a brand, um, anything like that. So I'm interested in that. I'm gonna put on some of this bronzer. This bronzer I have been using forever. It's I still have a lot in here, but it's the one by Morphe Leader. This little bump on the side is killing me. I've been watching The Walking Dead for like the 20th time. And it's such a, it's good until it gets to a certain part. When, um, let me see when it starts to get, when, okay, when Negan came in, I liked that. It was a bit extreme, but I liked it. It's when the pink girl coat came in and the people with the with the white suits, that was a lot for me. <laughs> it just was like really kind of just, mm -mm. maybe I should have stopped it. Um, maybe Rick should have never like kind of went off the show. Uh, maybe they could, he could have like, I don't know, got back on top, I don't know. But I'm slowing down watching it now it's because I know that the parts are coming up that I'm not into. My favorite characters, Michonne, Dara. Actually, Dara was my first favorite. And then Rick. Dara has a likable personality on that particular show. Um, who else had a good personality? What's her name? I do like Michonne. Uh, Michonne, Maggie's okay. <laughs> Dara was definitely my favorite. Some people that died off, I didn't want them to die off the show. Like, even though Beth wasn't like the best, I would like for her to have stayed on with her sister. Um, and of course, they killed my guy, Glenn off. <laughs> that was enough. Quick, get ready with me while I go on this movie date by myself. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I haven't been to the movie in a while. Just something to do, it's nice. Work has been, mm. I mentioned this the other day, I think. And I might have cut it out because I, sometimes I don't like to talk about it, but ciao. I'm just trying to get my mind right because I know the Lord got something big for me in store and I'm just waiting for it, you know? Like sometimes when things are happening and people are just not nice, <laughs> I know the Lord has something in store for me. Those people will reap what they sow, you know? They will. This is my new Chanel. I, I actually like this because I haven't been wearing my liner over my eye I literally had just been wearing this with the the Lay Volume mascara. And that's it. This is a good topic. A lot of people say, oh, you need to show your personality more in your videos. That's not as easy as people think. Especially if you work a nine to five, you're in corporate America, you work around a certain type of people or you know, you grew up a certain way. You could be funny and silly off of line, but you still be a little concerned about how much of you you actually show. That could be me. <laughs> All right, so let's do, I'm gonna put a little bit of, this line is dark. I had another one that was really nice. This is Spirit by MAC. Now here's the thing. It come up so pink on here, but it's not. Very chill. You guys know I don't wear a ton of stuff on my face. 
just enough. But I'm starting to realize that the more I lose weight, this is looking a little dented in. We're gonna have to fix that some way, somehow. Yeah. I always put this under me. All right, so I'm gonna go get dressed for my hair because it's not, it's not curly anymore. And then get ready to go outside and take you guys to the movies with me. All right, so I'm gonna curl my hair. Yeah, let's curl my hair. And as far as what I'm going to wear, kind of simple today wear something that I already wore keep it kind of chill I don't know how I look on camera because again this is my phone and you guys are like kind of like tilted back a little bit so you guys can see me what can I do and where can I oh where's my little thing at It must be in the other bathroom. Let me go check something, guys. One second. All right. I don't know where it's at. So I'm going to use this and just get some of these curls back in my hair. Throw an outfit together. Um, let me see. The weather is so up and down. So I don't know. Maybe I would like a cold shoulder top. I need to just take my stuff to the dry cleaners. Or maybe I can just throw on a little jacket, some slides, some jeans. It's not like super hot, but it's nice out. But anyway. All right, let's get into this hair. We're going to keep it very simple, as always. to grow and to really find a community that's like down with you or whatever. And some people may think you're boring. And then they, they, you're just not for them. You find a little boring crowd because <laughs> they out there. Okay. So, and some people are just not going to like you just because they got issues. You understand? Like, if you ever met a person and they just don't like you for no reason, don't got nothing to do with you. It's them saying like oh somebody got a bad vibe from you you got some jealous a f people out there you don't have to do nothing but be you they are always going to have something to say but for those people i always say like what's going on in your house honey what's happening over there like do your kids like you <laughs> do your husband like you because I, I just it, it just boggles my mind like like bullies like what are you doing like I don't understand I don't get it what's going on just just think about when you were in school matter of fact I believe it was Monroe it was her she talked about her story when she was young I don't maybe high school I'm saying high school but I remember her telling her story I don't know if it was in the same video when she was saying when she quit the job that she had, quit or fired, got fired, one of the two. 
but I think she quit. Um, she had a good job. And then she talked about these girls that used to bully her in school, man. Like, these chicks was bullying her. And I know for a fact them heifers <laughs> is probably following her on Instagram now. Yeah, one side looks better than the other. Let me fix this one because this one look a little stink. Let me see if I can get it to look a little better, a little bit more polished. Yeah, I know they like looking at her stuff now, probably asking for advice. You never know who you are going to become. You don't know the person that you treat like trash, where they're going to be in your life. What if you need them for something? I mean, like anything. Like, literally, literally anything. You may need them for, I don't know, a kidney. You know? <laughs> you can need them for, and be careful how you treat people. That's all I'm saying. Your karma may not even come back to you. It may come back to your children. It may come back to your children. It may come back to, I don't know. Child, one side look crazy. One side looks okay. And we're gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna leave it just like that. Yeah, you never know. That's why it's important to just treat people with, treat people how you wanna be treated. Some people be so jealous and so fixated on you that they will just do everything to try to belittle you, to make you feel like something's wrong with you. But it literally be them. Everything that they push out to you literally be what somebody said to them about themselves. Because there ain't no way you fixated on that person and you got a happy life. There's no way. I need a photographer. I do. I don't, I would, if I could take my own gram photos and stuff, I would. I just feel like maybe maybe I should just try it again because I, I I did it once I had a good time doing it I didn't care and then all of a sudden I just kind of like stopped I mean I know why this is why I like to do things I do like to do things by myself because I get them done but when you start bringing other folks in and they don't like stay consistent it can kind of throw you off your track. And then it's like starting to go over. And then we're out of here. Let me put on my, um, let me grab, I'm trying to grab, who's texting me? My little brother. All right, guys, let me get dressed. <laughs> and then um, we're going to go in the closet and find something to wear. All right. All right, guys, so I'm in the closet. I'm trying to figure out what to throw on. I'm not 100% sure yet because the weather is not like super hot, which is a good thing. So I'm thinking just to throw on a pair of jeans. I don't know. I want to be comfortable though, like really comfortable. Let me take off these earrings because I had on some studs I had them some, these little studs right here, these are from, oh, can you guys see these? It's probably a little blurry. Let me see, can you see those? These are from Nordstrom, and they're so cute. Oh, shoot. I ain't even call my friend for her birthday. I gotta call my friend, guys, hold on. I have to call my friend for her birthday, I almost forgot. Anyway, I am going to throw on, I want to be comfortable today, like really chill and simple with my accessories today. I'll probably just throw on these shorts actually. I don't know what to throw on. Guys, no, I love my um, David Yerman braces. I want to get some more. I just have been, 
I have not been buying things in the order that I'm supposed to. I'm I'm really big on buying things that are that's gonna make an impact. So accessories are huge, and so are like jackets and stuff for me. Love jackets. All right, so let's do this. I'm actually gonna set my stuff up too, but I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to the movies. I don't want to be cold either. So just throwing something on over would be perfect. Like something I got like a little bit of sleeves and kind of go from there. I'm just going to throw on some jeans. I'm going to wear this express jacket. I'm also going to throw on these. These are from Sam Edelman, just cause there's a little bit of yellow in it. I'm gonna throw on my white Monster Gabrielle bag, keeping it really comfortable cause I am just gonna go catch a movie. And once I get there, I will see if I can vlog a little bit, just a smidget, just to get a couple of scenes and then come back and give you guys a recap on the movie but this is a get ready with me while i go on a solo date i'm actually gonna let you guys see the entire <clears throat> the entire outfit <laughs> let me close my door and put the sandals on and i technically should be taking my unloosening it but i don't do that because they're like so they're so big on my feet I can literally just like pull the strap and it's on. And as far as glasses, I'm gonna wear. Chad, the sun is gone. But if anything, I'll have these with some some slides, not slides, like thong sandals. Let me see if I can get a better view. I don't think you guys can get a better view. <laughs> can you guys see? <laughs> yeah. So that's the outfit. Movie night. Thank you guys for tuning in to this simple get ready with me for movie night tonight. <laughs> this is my little solo day outfit. But simple express jacket i got the sleeves tailored aritzia tank zara pants sam edelman sandals thong sandals monta garviel key glasses and thank you guys for tuning in i will try to do a recap when i come back in hopefully i can if i cannot do a recap thank you for tuning in make sure you are subscribing to the channel Follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.